right, let's check out the Magic Extractor tool in Photoshop Elements. I think this is a great tool. Uh, what we're going to do is let's go ahead and go to the toolbar. And let's find the Magic Extractor tool. So where is this thing? It is kind of hard to find. And I'm going down and down and down and, uh, well, it's not there. Maybe it's behind the eraser tool. Magic eraser tool, you think the magic extractor tool will be there, but it's not. It's actually not in the toolbar. Let's go all the way up to the image menu, and there it is at the very bottom, magic extractor. Now, as soon as you click on it, this big window is going to appear. Boom! And, um, we're going to work in this window. So the first tool you'll grab is the foreground brush tool. So we'll left click and release. Now we have this tool and we're going to draw and tell Photoshop Elements what our foreground is going to be. The foreground of course is what's in front of your background or what is not the background. So you don't have to be exact as you can tell. I'm not getting close to the edges just to give Photoshop Elements a general idea of what the foreground is. The next tool down is the background brush tool. And now it's going to be a different color, and I'm just going to show Photoshop Elements. Again, I don't have to be exact or get in your edges what my background is going to be. Very easy stuff. Uh, now we're going to go up here. Great feature up at the top here is the preview feature. I'm going to click on that, and boom. And now I can see that most of the white is gone. Now if you look back here on the cat's back paws, it didn't do too good, so I'm tightening this up a little bit. And also, um, over here in between the puppy's ear and its head is a little white spot. So we're going to have to bring down the size of this brush. And now I'm going to draw inside of this area between the puppy's ear and his head so that Photoshop Elements knows that that's background also. Okay? And now I'm going to click preview again and boom. And as you can see, the back paw area looks much better and there's a hole in between the ear and the head. So I like that, I'm gonna click OK. Uh, the magic extractor window goes away and I'm back in Photoshop. Now let's click on the move tool. I just wanna move the subject around so you can see what a great job the magic extractor did with removing the background, okay? So now let's do what we gotta do when we have a nice uh, subject removed from the background. Let's slide it into another image. We're gonna make this cute little girl's image a lot cuter. So we're gonna left click, hold and drag. And now this is a kitten and a puppy, so I do have to make this a lot smaller than what it turned out to be. So we're going to make that smaller, and I'm going to try to position this so that the tail and the paw looks like it's resting on her foot. Now I'm going to fast forward and show you what I do with the burn tool. Watch what's going to happen here. One, two, and boom! The burn tool kind of takes that white uh, highlight that's still around the edges of my kitten and my dog and will take it away. And here's an example of it in use. Uh, just go around the edges of, the, of an image that you drag into another image and especially if it's a little bit darker uh, the, the first image and just to make things blend a little bit better but there you go thanks for watching hey can you do me a favor can you leave a comment thanks from info puppet